The programme aims to give teachers the confidence, skills and knowledge to support their students through the mental health issues they may face. The focus is on early detection and, where possible, prevention. It's been tailored specifically for Gibraltar, with the programme led by Deputy Director of Nursing at the GHA, Wayne Barton, who is currently seconded to the Department of Education. Today's session was delivered by mental health educator Dr Puki Knightsmith. The programme started back in November. Um, Minister Cortes obviously asked, asked me to look at mental health support systems within the school and how we could best support systems within the school. Obviously there, there is a multi-agency component to this, but we we've thought first let's look within the schools and what we can develop to support teachers, support students uh, in developing them in, as, as individuals, holistically, so in the future they have less or they're less likely to develop mental health problems or disorders. So it's more a preventive early detection approach towards uh, education. In what ways uh, has this been tailored specifically to Gibraltar? What are the specific challenges in the area of mental health that Gibraltar poses? Um, the, the thing that's most different about Gibraltar than anywhere else is this kind of very close-knit community. Um, and that's something that throughout the week we've learned is both a pro and a con. So sometimes it's fantastic because people really work together. There's that sense of community around the child. Other times it can be difficult. It, there's a bit of a feeling of a real stigma around some mental health issues um, and perhaps a lack of willingness to open up and, and look for help. So I've been thinking about how longer term we begin to, to challenge uh, those issues. Um, the other thing is just the, the, the point at which Gibraltar is on its journey. So other places are perhaps perhaps further ahead or further behind and so we wanted to tailor this to where teachers were right now. We brought them together, we asked them what we thought they needed help with and we tailored the programme to suit. I imagine that teachers often feel a great sense of responsibility when it comes to the mental health of the children in their care. How have you helped to equip them with what they need to handle this and also increase their confidence in dealing with such a sensitive issue? Yeah, so it's a, really, it's a really good point. Um, part of what we've done, actually, we've brought together stakeholders from a whole range of different areas across Gibraltar, and I think that we have helped them to understand this is something we're taking really seriously, um, that it's a journey that we're kind of on together, that we don't expect them to be able to solve every child's issues, um, and helping them to understand what they can do if things are beyond what they can manage. Um, but the key thing I hope we've done is help them to realise that there often is a lot that they can do. So we've really just broken down the stigma there, helped them to know that these are practical tools that you can use help them really discuss it, they've had lots of opportunity to ask questions, um, yeah just made it much more accessible for them really. This is part of what uh, changing education is all about, we've got to uh, make sure that we look after the, the mental health of our children, that our teachers know uh, what they can do, what, what uh, they need to be aware of, how they can help, how they can be helped as well. Uh, and when it's time for a mental health uh, health professional to step in. Um, so it's a question of awareness, um, knowing how far we can go and trying to improve the whole uh, scenario. The first phase of the programme has looked at secondary education, with the focus now to shift to primary and, by September, tertiary education, building on the feedback from teachers along the way as to the main issues they face and the tools they need to support their students.